So my name is David Shu. I am uh, French in origins. My parents come from Cambodia and they moved to France in 1973. And my film, which is at the San Francisco International Film Festival, is uh, Golden Numbers. It's a documentary about the destructed golden age of Cambodian cinema during the, the 60s and 70s and how it was destroyed by the Khmer Rouge. And the film is about the, the memory of this cinema and how this cinema can survive even if it was like uh, destroyed and abandoned uh, in Cambodia. Sam Sapram's name is Pant Adrian Plan. ពលរដ្ឋផានវិនៅវិញខាងខ្លួនមើលសោះស្វាស់ហើយមើលលើតបាត់ហើយខ្ញុំនៅមនេះហើយ <laughs> The main idea at the beginning of the film was very simple. Um, the film are lost, or at least they are not seen and watched anymore in Cambodia. So starting from the absence of film, how can we tell us this story? Um, so the, the main challenge was how to make the audience who has never heard about Cambodian cinema or like the Cambodian new generation was heard about it but never saw any Cambodian films, how to make a film and how to make them imagine about those films. So that's how we, um, let's say, made the choice of working a lot on the mise-en-scene and the cinematography and the sound and everything. We are shooting the present time, but how can we make it uh, understand to the audience to see the image of the past through the image of the present? To be more specific, it was like going into all theaters, which are now like karaoke places or restaurants, and trying to see if we can see any sign that could make us think about how it was before. And in each film at that time, you had like two or three songs that were very created for the film, and very special and very popular. And even if the film were mainly lost, the songs most of the time survived, and they are still. Um, released in Cambodia right now, so the young people know about these songs and they are already also remade by new karaoke studios. So that's how, for me also, how the film survived. So the music has a very big um, um, place in, in the film also as well. And I have to say that I had a special link with this story that made me go into it. It's that my, um, my grandfather actually was one of the biggest film producers in Cambodia at the time. But I never met him because he died much before I was born. Um, and I have to say that in France I started making film of m on my own, forgetting the fact that I heard that my grandfather was into movies. But at one point, like at the age of maybe 21, 22, I asked my aunt to tell me more about her father, my grandfather, which was this film producer. And then she started telling me about the story of her father, how he started making film, how those films started to be very popular, but very quickly she extended her story to the whole Cambodian cinema of the time. And I was so fascinated to hear about this unknown story, all the actors uh, that were like uh, half gods, um, the popularity of those films, the number of theaters in town and everything. But I don't know, I just felt obvious that there is a thing to make about this story and I wanted to make this film. Because if you go to Cambodia and you just ask anyone more than 50 years old to tell, about, about, to tell you about a film, they will start talking, talking, talking and, and never stop. And then I discovered what they really liked and, and mainly they liked this kind of very popular Cambodian film dealing with like legends, with like monsters, princesses, kings, ogres and giants. And, and it was basically what, what they really wanted to, to see. And that's, that, that was very surprising because uh, also in, let's say, in the current film in Cambodia, it's nothing to deal with this kind of folklore and folk tales. I'm very optimistic about the future of in, in Cambodian film industry. Even if, obviously, if, if you see in a kind of objective way, there is a very few film produced a year, there is no film school, um, there is no like governmental fund for making films. But I'm, I'm sure that also in the next years we're going to see more and more so fiction filmmakers uh, from Cambodia um, telling stories about this country because yeah, it's, it's, there is not many stories told from this country so I think that also the audience 
is uh, eager to see stories coming from Cambodia. What I have to say that will be my hope is that also that uh, as we did in Berlin, the film could help to um, raise a sense of um, importance of uh, saving the Korean film that we could save, that we can save, and make maybe making like a project of restoration of all Korean films, finding some partners and some money for it, and then after being able to screen the old survived films that we could have digitalized into HD, and then maybe uh, travel again to show those films into many countries, that would be amazing for me.